Hi, this is a new software update tool for LG MultiV systems. In this video, I'm going to show how to update software with this tool. This updating tool is much uh, easier and more comfortable in compare with previous versions. First of all, it has battery, you can charge it by regular USB. Secondly, uh, you don't need to plug it into computer. It has SD card, comes with the writer. Let me plug it into the laptop and I'll show you what to do next. On SD card, you will have a template MVF file. Initially, it won't read. You need to right-click on this file, select Open With and Open With Notepad. When you open the file, it has three lines. First line calls Model. Whatever name you type here, this name will appear on the writer screen. The second line is the software file name. And third is the mode or specific code. The writer will recognize the type of the updated device by this code. Let me show you example and let's update something. I will paste MOT software file. This software is for MultiV4 heat recovery unit main PCB. Now we need to make an MVF file which will connect the software file with stick writer brains. For this let's make a copy of the template MVF file. Copy the full name of the software and make the same name of the MVF file. Accept extension, MOT extension delete, MVF extension remain. Now let's open the file we made. Again paste the software file name into the second line under the file name. In the first line, we need to write the name, how we want to see that on the writer screen. Let's say MultiV4, heat recovery type or sync, and let's say software version 31.0. The third line, MCU mode, in this line, we need to put a specific code or specific number by which the writer, when it's read this code, it will understand that this software is for MultiV4 main PCB. These pages are from Software Update Writer. It has a column for MCU mode codes and the product types it's related to. In our case, it's MultiV4 main PCB. The code we need to put is R32. File save and close. This software update tool, it comes with the wires and the short key. So you set up the wires. Okay. So now you turn the device on. The deep switch, deep switch one on, technical all the time. So now 
with the short presses of that black button, button on the right bottom, you can select the softwares. It's a number of softwares on my device. So let's, let's find one we just made. MV Sync version 31.0. That's what we made. Okay, now I've got the board from MultiD4 Outdo Unit Heat Recovery System. So, first we plug short key. Second, we plug this device. Now, with the long press of this black button, we select that we're going to update with this software. Now we have a sign selected. Now, when we press short time, update will start. Arise in the previous software. OK, downloading the new one. OK, upgrade complete. We can unplug the short key. And we, if we, this, uh, this device is powering the board now. If we press reset button, it will go to initialize. To check the software, you can use the regular LGMV kit. So, I plug LGMV wireless kit. Selecting my LGMB box, connect, open an LGMB app, monitoring data, Wi Fi, yes. Okay, select the Wi Fi mode. Okay, next. And that's all what we need. Main software updated to 31.0. If you can see so update is complete board is good if you want to update it on the power unit it's even easier the procedure is same